With Konosuba Season 3 being finally announced, what better time to summarize the events of Konosuba Season 2? Let's get into it, shall we? So the first thing we want to do is recap the end of Season 1. There was this giant spider creature that was attacking their home, and they had to defend it. Our intel shows the Mobile Fortress Destroyer is approaching from the northwest. Our town stands directly in its path. It will be at our walls within one hour. When the giant spider creature finally reaches town, Aqua attempts to be useful and attacks it with a giant fuck off laser beam. This attack is promptly blocked by the creature's shield. <laughs> Megamine, with an assist from Wiz, decides to explode the problem. Explosion! But in a shocking turn of events, the giant spider creature that they exploded is at risk of exploding. If it explodes, the firestorm will destroy the town! Oh no, what's the solution to a thing that's about to explode? Exploded, of course. <laughs> but Megamine is out of mana, so Aqua has to actually be useful and just donates her mana to Megamine, an actually useful character. So naturally, Megamine hits it with a second explosion. This time, the explosion spell works, and it stops the machine from exploding. Yeah, it really doesn't make any sense. However, the explosion has one minor consequence. It destroyed the mansion of a lord. <laughs> so now they're in severe debt, and they have to go on dangerous quests to pay off their debt. And what is their next quest? Defeating a demon general. He's the one summoning those hell dolls. I am Vanir. They then proceed to kick his ass with Scooby-Doo logic. This cannot be. Now, after defeating the demon general, they then go ahead and surprise. <laughs> Psych! The, the problem has not yet been solved, and it turns out darkness has been possessed. Kazuma! He has taken over my body! Hurry now, attack! This is the perfect time to- Silence, woman! What is wrong with you? Since there's a difficult problem, and this is Konosuba, naturally it's resolved by just having Megamine explode the problem. The time hath come. Awaken from thine slumber, and by my madness be unleashed! Burst forth! Explosion! After solving their problem with an explosion, they have an unexpected surprise. Hello and welcome! The Demon General is still alive and he's working for Wiz now? I heard all about it, Kazuma. How you defeated Vanir and cleared up the charges against you. I'm so happy for you! I'm happy you're happy, but what the hell is he doing here after getting exploded on? I lost one of my lives! He's been wanting to quit his post as general for a long time. He's pretty much harmless now. Apparently he hated his job and he was just looking for an excuse to fake his death and quit, so... Eh, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. We move on. And we move on to Archon Retia. This town is famous for their hot springs and for worshiping Aqua. Now, since Aqua is naturally in a land where everybody literally worships her, clearly there's no way that this can go wrong. There's absolutely no way that Aqua can fuck this up. Right? Right? My name is Aqua. Yes, the same Aqua you worship. Get bent! Curse you for impersonating Our Lady Aqua! Blue hair be damned! You liar! I know who she is! She was sent to our town by the Devil King himself! You wanna bankrupt us, don't ya? <laughs> Burn the witch impersonating our goddess! Her hair isn't even her natural color! Imposter! Imposter! To 
be fair, the town does have a valid reason for being psychotically angry. That's the fact that their hot springs are being poisoned. So naturally they have to go track down and figure out who the hell is poisoning the hot springs. Obviously this guy is just some bozo. They can handle him no sweat. We can handle you no sweat. Kid, my name is Hans. I'm a deadly poisoned slime and one of the Devil King's generals. Wait, say what? Naturally, our brave heroes charge in to save the day. You dare! Oh, oh, oh! Never mind! Misunderstanding! Sorry! It takes our party about half an episode for them to grow a pair of balls and go fight this guy. In fact, they're so confident in their plan that they'll be able to defeat the demon general. Cosma tries to be useful. But you never should have picked a fight with us! That goes about as well as you'd expect. Kill him! So since Kazuma jumping off a cliff didn't solve the problem, we solved the problem the way we always solve problems in Konosuba, and that's by having Megamine explode the problem. First force, explosion! Unfortunately, Megamine isn't quite strong enough to take him out on her own, and she needs some support from Wiz. Person, Crystal, present! Somehow this douche still isn't dead. So now it's up to Aqua to be useful and I'm sure that will go swimmingly. <laughs> what? Aqua got in the final hit? What is this madness? She was useful? <laughs> what a way to end the season. You love to see it. You love to see it. So yeah, hopefully you're all now caught up on what happened during uh, Konosuba Season 2, so you're all ready to watch Season 3. Let me know if you want me to summarize the movie too. I'd be happy to rewatch it.